Walt because he wouldn't have been able to do anything if they just stuck that. So we actually actually have an agenda of cool stuff. First off, we're going to tell you about our gear very briefly. The Teslas are host today. I want them to introduce some of the key people here that you may or may not have had a chance to meet. We have Karen Stakely here, um, Tesla's legislative guru, who's going to tell us what's going on in Austin. Don't roll your eyes. We um, have our official election results. Those of you who have been working with the crowd will notice that we've kind of spoiled it by putting you know, kind of new name badges on people who were selected. Uh, Thomas Knowles is going to talk about our communications channels. Uh, Teresa Schaefer is going to talk about some housekeeping issues. Uh, I'm required to give you a financial report, which we'll do, and then we'll do any other club business. So, one year ago, we started with a ribbon cutting in November of 2015. We had so much fun, we decided to do it again. And we had a second ribbon cutting in the Denton Supercharger in January of 2016. And the really interesting thing about this one, as far as we were concerned, was that a lot of people came. We had 44 cars show up. The mayor of Denton, people from North Central Texas Council of Governments, um, TV crews, we were kind of surprised and realized that maybe we needed to get a little serious about what we were doing. And we decided to create a, the club. And a mission. I think you've seen this bits on most of our social media. A group of Tesla enthusiasts need for social, technical, environmental, and other get togethers. So in our first year, we've actually done a fair amount of that. We've done three road trips. We've been down past Corsicana. We went to Glen Rose. We had the Dallas, what was it? Uh, Sulphur oh. Springs. I don't count Sulphur Springs because that was a legislative issue. Perot Museum. Perot Museum. Perot Museum, sure. Actually, that's up to more than three, doesn't it? Witherspoon. Witherspoon Distillery, yes. That would go into countless restaurants and bars. <laughs> 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 We had a going away party for our friend Ras Fryman, who went to go join SpaceX. He still writes us occasionally, so I guess he didn't really like us. We also had the big technical event um, where Pete Fish and Chris Hightower and a couple of other people helped us learn what was inside our test and showed us all sorts of amazing stuff that I hope to never see again because it made me mad. We did a lot of environmental stuff. In Earth Month last year, we did three events, including the largest Earth Day in Texas in the history of the event. Uh, we had 30-some-odd cars show up. Earth Day on that day had 80-some-odd thousand people. They had more people on that Saturday than they had had the entire weekend the year before. Uh, National Drive Electric Week. I know that it's not as exciting to you all as it is to me, but I really like National Drive Electric Week. We had more Teslas than any event, including the ones in small towns like Cupertino, California, Los Angeles, California, San Diego, um, San Jose. We had more Teslas. We had 47. We were the largest event outside California. We had 125 cars. And so we were in second or third or fourth place globally. And then the DFW Solar Tour, which our friends at the North Texas Radio <coughs> Post were involved with that. Although it wasn't our intent, we did a lot of legislative stuff too. We presented to city councils and they contributed to the success of the Sulphur Spring Supercharger, where they stole that from our friends in, what was that? <coughs> that town which we no longer remember the name because we all stopped at Sulphur Springs. Now. And then the gallery in charge was South Lake City Council just approved, with two hours of discussion of what's under the hood and what is the matter of it. North Central Texas Council of Governors, we supported their efforts. Well, there you are. Lori Clark, one of our big fans from North Central Texas Council of Governors. Thank you for coming. Raise a beer. That's great. <laughs> Support their efforts to actually electrify the interstates and the Texas Triangle and a little bit beyond. They're working very hard on that. We've also supported efforts to get TURP funding here in the Metroplex for charging what you did to charge your um, to be more credible. 
and somehow we made it on to four TV interviews, three newspapers, two radio things, and probably some other ones that we didn't know about. And here we are today. Today, we have 109 members. We're Themselves. Tia, I'll put your name down, but you just take care of who we need to know, okay? Hi, I'm Tia, I'm a regional marketing specialist for Texas, and we are excited to have you guys here. For me personally, I'm still fairly new, so I'm excited to be able to meet all of the owners because I know you guys are huge advocates for the brand, and we truly appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to um, let everyone introduce themselves. If you haven't met them, well, now here we go. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I'm Madison. I actually manage this location. So I manage the sales in the delivery department. And this is my team here. Yay! My name is Curtis Wilson. Uh, I'm a career advisor at this location as well. This is our colleagues, uh, Michael and Hillary. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jenny. I'm an owner advisor at North Park. Thanks for having us today. Hi guys, my name's Hillary. I actually just transferred here about a month ago from North Park, and I was actually representing Tesla at National Drive Electric Week back in September. I met some of you guys there. It's you lost your car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a million degrees outside. I don't know. I was happy to be there. It's good to see you again. Hi guys, I'm Michael Romero. I'm a product specialist here at City Springs. Also came from North Park. And, uh, happy you guys are here. I'm Glover. I might have delivered some of your cars years ago. Uh, I'm still part of the delivery team here, and uh, we're growing, so there's a lot more of us to be at the yet. My name is Zeb. I'm one of your uh, technicians here at the Dallas Service Center. I've been with Tesla uh, about two and a half years now, so for most of you I know, but I'll see, uh, see most of you around. That's not a good time. Uh, you see me, I'm Chet, I'm one of the service advisors here. Uh, many of you have known me for many years. Uh, so I'm looking away, keeping you guys on the road. Uh, my name is Ezekiel. Uh, I'm a technician here, also a ranger to you guys. I go to your homes and fix your cars and whatnot at home. Hopefully I never see you guys. <laughs> Uh, my name is actually backwards on the Facebook page, so I'm someone's 
uh, on this here. So basically, uh, thank you guys for joining for me. Appreciate it. What I'd like to do with the social media is to more or less grow the group. Uh, on Instagram, when you post pictures or you do something with your Teslas, if you can just basically do the at sign in the North Texas Tesla Owners Group, um, that way it hits our page, we can approve it, and it will, will be expose us to more people. But y'all know that we don't. Uh, Slack is a fantastic option. Not everybody has Facebook, not everybody has Google Plus, not everybody has Instagram and other opportunities. This is kind of a really good general forum uh, that everybody can kind of talk to each other, talk to other owners if they have issues, car wash places, details for your wrap the vehicle, you know, different things like that. Facebook really is also kind of the same thing. If you have Facebook, you can show your photos, your experiences, you kind of talk to other people, share photos. Um, and then we have Twitter. Uh, Twitter is kind of different. There's not a whole lot of people following my Twitter just yet. That changes. Uh, I do post a lot of stuff from Elon Musk, from Motors, and SpaceX, and things that are relevant to the group. Um, I'd like to hope to see that kind of get a little bit uh, publicized. And maybe one day Elon Musk will actually back to us. Really, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you're always welcome to email me or message me. And it's so on, so on, but almost always. <laughs> going to bring us now to, to our heavy, the person who actually has to let us know what's going on with our housekeeping issues. So Teresa, if you can join us. I was going to call her the Sergeant in Arms and she was offended by that. <laughs> so, uh, hey, look, she has she has notes because, because her attorney has cleared the deadline. <laughs>
we can take care of that. Um, the Eventbrite site, are y'all familiar with Eventbrite? Yes. Where you are, thank you to all the fun stuff that we do. Um, Eventbrite works out really good for us, and we are able to really see who's interested, who's actually going to be attending. Okay. Other part of them, uh, I'm sorry, the Eventbrite is that if you have RSVP to a function and for some reason you can't attend, let us know. You can log back into to Eventbrite and you can also cancel your ticket. And in cases like tonight where we actually needed a headcount for food and drinks, um, if you are not able to attend and you can cancel your ticket, then that gets us ahead of the game so that we aren't spending extra money on someone who isn't able to attend. I know that sometimes things happen at the very last minute and you're not able to do that, but you know, if, if, the, if time allows, we can, it would be extremely helpful to us. Sure, so it also helps with insurance. And that's true. It also helps with insurance because whenever we have an event, we do have to outlay a certain amount of money uh, for insurance for this club. And that's something that a lot of the other clubs, I'm not sure that they do every time. And it's extremely important to us that we make sure that everybody is taken care of and covered. So Joe is absolutely right. Um, it, it makes a huge difference. Um, I want to take a moment and I want to thank uh, our president, Rick Bowler. on the website.
this is this is very mundane. But well, we started the club a year ago. We did this with PayPal. You all would sign up for PayPal and you're put onto a subscription program. And we actually maintain the club records on Excel, which, by the way, all clubs start out doing that. It's a very bad idea. Um, so we fixed that. We've actually migrated on to a membership management platform, which is costing us a couple of dollars a month. But the implication of that is we're going to cancel all of those PayPal subscriptions. A number of you have it coming up in about a week and a half, joined on the 26th. We're going to, you're going to get a notice whether that's canceled. Or you're going to get an email tomorrow, or Sunday, or whenever your rule comes up, um, to actually renew the credit card from a company called Joint. We'll have our logo on it so you'll know that it's actually us. And this will let us actually have the right email address for you, communicate with you, not forget who you are, and all those things which we identified as issues. Um, so please be looking, looking for that. And then the financial report, which I'm required to give you. Uh, last year, we had $4,690.80 of income. Our expenses were $3,293.80 to put them in the sleep of the government. There were a couple of interesting things, though. Our one-time expenses were those that were required to incorporate their IRS um, 501c7 termination letter. And that was $157. We paid $1,300 for our general liability insurance policy. We know that's a base of $500 plus $100, $200 for every event that we hold. Um, credit card fees were $348. So we ended the year with a surplus of $1,397.72. Um, our bank balance our, is $6,317, which is really from the eight years of membership that the vendors put in which actually allow us to have the financial security to know that we're going to be able to pay this event or insurance renewal, which comes up in a month, and all of, the, all of those other things. So um, that actually is it. If there's any other business, I'm certainly happy to um, take that now. If there is, then we want to get a group picture over in the other room, and we're going to figure out how to get all of us in the frame at the same time. Please don't leave until we do this because it's going to be a great website. Yes, we're going to update the ancient pictures. So, if there isn't any other business, let's go do that. Thank you all so much.